Hi everyone, my name is Hiroki Yamano. Um, I'm, I came from Tokyo University, so um, then I read this paper. Um, do you have paper? from the viewpoint of the historicity of human beings. <clears throat> this presentation aims to try to clarify the thought of Miki Kiyoshi, who is a representative figure of Japanese philosophy through a comparison with Paulikuk's hermeneutics. <clears throat> As traditional studies had pointed out, Miki's Rekishi Tetsugaku, the philosophy of history, is a starting point which forms the basic problems of Miki's philosophy. However, the preceding study had seldom argued Miki's conception of the three meanings of history, especially about the ontological position of history as logos, through comparing with other philosophical works. Then, this presentation aims to clarify the content and its position of history as logos. Through comparing with the theory of la triple images in uh, Tan LHC, uh, section 1, theory of la triple images in Tan LHC. The theory of la triple images, um, three fold images developed in Tan LHC, consists of three stages. The first stage is called images and um, prefiguration. In other words, the pre understanding of the world of action. Um, however, we might have a question here. Um, why it is connected with the problem of mimesis, namely mimetic activity? On this point, it could say as follows. To imitate or represent action is first to pre-understand what human acting is, its semantics, its symbolic system, its temporality. For the good, mimesis is above all the pre-understanding of human acting. Um, if we if we don't really understand them, we can do mimetic activity. Um, it indicates that mimesis arm has the pivotal position in the first stage of the circle, circle of mimesis. The second stage is mimesis to configuration. That is to say, the moment which creates his histoire, history. The most important feature is its faculty of mediation. According to Riku, the basis of this mediation consists in the fictitious creation, which is misonantric employment. This dynamic of employment mediates mimesis an and mimesis trova. Then, what is mimesis trova? It is a moment which accepts history. The circle of mimesis requires the transitions from writer to reader and that is the mediation from mimesis which creates history to mimesis which accepts history. Um, <clears throat> Riku explains this point in the following way. At that time, I said that the world of the text marked the opening of the te text to its outside to its other, in that the world of the text constitutes an absolutely original intentional object in relation to its internal structure it must be admitted, however, that considered apart from reading, the world of the text remains a transcendence in immanence. It is only in reading that the dynamism of configuration completes its course. The circle of mimesis is essentially expressed in its passage. The world of the text is a world displayed before the work which is const constituted by mimesis too. However, the world of the text cannot be opened to outside and other without the act of reading. Incidentally, we need to pay attention to the, the situation threefold mimesis is also called the circle of mimesis. As long as it is circulation, there is a step from mimesis 3 to mimesis 1 as well. And it is beyond reading in effective action, instructed by the works handed down that the configuration of the text is transformed into refiguration. Here we can find that that effective action transforms mimesis 2 into mimesis 3. What should also be uh, emphasized is that effective action has a direct relationship to mimesis 1. That is to say, um, it is a moment of action 
which connects the stage of reading with the stage of action guided by the literary works. In the sense, the, the effective action is the moment which makes it possible to shift from mimesis 2 to mimesis 3 as well as mimesis 3 to mimesis 1. Similarly, our historicity metamorphosis through the narrative act, including writing and reading something, and threefold mimesis circulates. And thus far, we have confirmed the central idea of mimesis introduced by Likuch. I will focus on the relation between Likuch and Miki Kiyoshi in the following chapter. But before we move on to the main argument, let's briefly look at the concept of history in Rekishi Tetsugaki first. Um, three meanings of the concept of history in Rekishi Tetsugaki. Uh, Miki began to discuss Rekishi Tetsugaki uh, by pointing out the two meanings of the concept of history. The term history is, on the one hand, used subjectively in the sense of the nar narration of event, historia realme gestalme. On the other hand, it is also used objectively in the sense of event it's itself, less case The latter is nothing but the history as being, and the former is so called the history as logos, which entails the knowledge or the narration of the history as being. As confirmed above, Miki divides two meanings of history into history as being and history as logos. For Miki, the logical or temporal relationship between them is evident. Um, that is to say, based on the nature of things, history as being is, of course, a standing point of, of history as logos. Also, the history uh, as being always keep moving forward. So, each one of the new historical events always ash and requires a new aspect of historiography. Uh, on this point, Miki offers an insightful suggestion. However, if this is the only case, a narration of history could be added, but not be changed by writing. It suggests that if the history as logos is described only in accordance with the progress of the history of being, then it should be true that the history as being expands, but there is no opportunity to rewrite the content of the history as logos. In order to explain the change of historiography, Miki introduces the concept, concept of the history as Tatozahe. First, uh, the history of Tatozahe is act, uh, koi. It is said human beings make history. In this way, Miki claims that um, the act of making uh, history is history as Tatozahe, and history made by the act is history as being. We represent history as the unified totality by choosing every every meaningful event in standing at the present time, uh, genzai, subjectively. The kind of dynamic present time has a different ontological status from present day, genzai. Um, the present time belongs, belongs to the history as tatsuhe, and the present day, uh, sorry, present day belongs to the history as being. So differentiating uh, these three ontological order of history, Miki tried to analyze the dynamic and dialectic character of history from the perspective of the historicity of human beings, but especially action. And then, through comparing Bikus, the circle of mimesis with Miki's the philosophy of history, can, can we find any note between them? The clue is the act which both philosophers emphasized as the important moment. Um, <clears throat> as confirmed earlier, uh, repeatedly uh, Likud repeatedly claims that the mimesis is the act like imitation and representation, configuration, mediate, prefiguration, and refiguration. This mediation, uh, that is the circle of mimesis, is a transition of the historicity of human beings at the heart of narrative act. In regard to Miki, he explained that uh, the history as Tatozahe create the history as being, which described by the history as Logos, through so the act of making history. Um, apparently, it seems that this juxtaposition between them connect both theories which analyze the history of human beings. However, in fact, um, when we investigate um, Miki's the philosophy of history from the perspective of Likud's threefold mimesis, uh, we can confirm that there is a difference between them. Uh, 
especially the problem about history as logos. In Mitty's The Philosophy of History, the analysis of, sorry, this of history as logos is astonishingly less than history as starts the head and history as being. The position is explained uh, only briefly in the beginning. Um, the former as uh, history as being precedes the latter, history as logos. Um, after the historical event happened, historiography about it can be followed. But then, what is the relationship between history as Tato Zahe and history as Logos? While Gu explain the relationship between narrative and act, Miki doesn't clarify the relationship between Logos and act. For Miki, um, is Logos mere copy of the power that is history as Tato Zahe? Um, to answer this question, uh, we have to clarify the implicit aspect of history as Logos, not only from the perspective of the philosophy of history, um, but also from the entire framework of Miki's philosophy. From the next section, I will discuss this point. Section 3. Out and Act. Um, for Miki, what does it mean to write history as Logos? About this point, um, it seems that Miki's uh, the philosophy of history doesn't answer. However, we can approach this question by referring to the theory of art written by Miki. The task uh, we have to do here is to liberate the concept, concept of history from the framework of the narrow positivist con concept of history. Uh, we can catch the content of Miki's concept of history from the next passage. In fact, writing history belongs to the most fundamental um, in the human act. The oldest legend or myth of human beings is a historiography in the way themselves. Vico uh, think that the oldest myths contain political truths and then they express the initial history of people. Here, it is said that the oldest legend or myth is a historiography. It is especially suggestive that Mickey refers to Jambas Stop Biko in the same passage, for it is big that sees the wisdom of primitive man as poetic wisdom and claim and social and actual function of myth. Thus, Mick says as follows Historiography is one of the uh, sorry, uh, cultural form, cultural form and with art of our law, and is counted as history as being as it is. As making art is sometimes called artistic practice, writing history um, can be thought as practice. Um, in this way, Mickey claims that writing history is connected to artistic practice, and he refers to the con concept by Philomythos of Aristotle. In, in a way, those who love myths can be called a historian. Therefore, historiography, that is history as logos, has a close relationship to art. Then, what is Miki's position for art? Um, in 1913, Miki criticized the view of art of Marxism in a note Shuki, and he suggested that it is required to argue aesthetic and artistic creation, and the concrete theory of art was de developed in reality and art. In this paper, Miki is grounded on the theory of art by Konrad Fiedler and claims as follows. There is no reality or no truth before expression. With the activity of expression, the reality is produced. Do not think some reality outside or behind the expressed. Do not think that there is a reality first of all and next the reality is expressed. Artistic reality is the, the reality developed by the artistic function of expression. In this way, um, Miki emphasizes the creative function of art which express or produce a reality. Actually, in philosophical anthropology, um, 哲学的 人間学, uh, we can recognize that this theory of art is connected with Miki's theory of art. All acts have the meaning as an expressive act. It would be said that Act has not only praxis but also poiesis. This means that act does not remain inside as act but grows out essentially. Um, it is thought every act 
is not just expressive at the outside, but poiesis, in the sense of making things. Here, Miki says um, <clears throat> that act is expressional and poiesis. Uh, since this insight into act and expression is continuously inherited in Miki's philosophy, Miki had urged in the uh, philosophy of history as follows. As I said in another case, existentia is as existed. This fact anticipates the original for it. Miki distinguished being existentia from ground of being act. In this way, for Miki, art and act are connected under the burner of poiesis. So examining Miki's thought um, <coughs> like this, we can understand that the act of writing um, history as logos, that is the act of writing history, has the possibility of making the world, uh, making, um, expressing the world. It's a philosophy of history. Miki didn't explain explicitly history as logos, um, but this is not because um, that history uh, as logos was slighted. Rather, it is because the act of making or writing history as logos is emphasized. That's a sort of a description concerning history as logos itself uh, turns in. Needless to say, in the philosophy of history, um, history as Tatsuhe, which makes history as being, is pivotal. However, among them, we have no choice but to claim the history as Tatsuhe concerning history as logos, um, which right history of the world, um, sorry, is more important. For Miki, <coughs> A book is historical fact, a historical fact. In that case, um, historical world that are written there is clearly the part of expressive world where we live in. Um, therefore, Mickey explains about the creativity of history. Human beings make and transcend culture. Human beings find a dwelling and acquire a life by forming the world and producing culture. Culture is an existential form of life and a developing form of life. But life itself is more fundamental than culture. Um, <coughs> this discourse titled Philosophical Foundation of Humanism no Tetsugaki Kikiso show that Miki's uh, philosophy of history is the axis of his philosophical system. For Miki understands life as history as Tatsuhe and culture as history as being. The insight that life itself is more fundamental than culture is correlated to the insight that making is more fundamental than the made, um, a thing is made by something. Um, sorry, um, therefore, therefore this fact shows um, the progress of Miki's philosophy as philosophy of art. <laughs> um, page, eight page, uh, section four. <laughs> um, act and the world, reading history as logos. Um, the relationship between act and world is uh, interactive. In fact, in um, philosophical anthropology, Mick says, <clears throat> human beings always change the world by their act. Uh, <clears throat> and they are born from the changed world. To put it another way, world is dialectically developed. The fact world dialectically progress um, requires that human beings do not stand outside uh, the world, but in the world they are incorporated as the active independent. In the same year, Miki expressed this matter in the following way. The self formation of human beings mm, as the dialectic beings social and individual is realized by participating in the self formation of world. Human beings as the dialectic being is resonant with the understanding of human beings as medium. Um, according to Miki, human beings is a being full with contradiction. Mission. The understanding of human beings like this um, unexpectedly take back us to liquid so thought. Human beings include the other within oneself. This is nothing other than the theme thought in Soamem Koma Noto by Liku. 
and Riku analyzed the circle of mimesis as the transition of the historicity of human beings. Likewise, Miki's analysis of history contains the circulatory structures as a historicity of the act. Um, this similarity turns out to be obvious by referring to the next passage. Um, <clears throat> we experience this in every case that the thing made by human beings influences and suppresses uh, human beings who make it. Human beings always learn from history. And to possess at all times the norm or the classic is one of the fundamental conditions of history. <clears throat> and it would be understood that the classic is a categorical which expresses the historicity of being. <clears throat> and <clears throat> Mickey conception like this is astonishingly similar to Riku's insight into the passage from Mimesis 2 to Mimesis 3 um, and Mimesis 3 to 1. And also in Mickey's The Philosophy of History in that history as logos is incorporated into the order of history as being as historical fact. History as logos contribute to the formation of human world and render human act or beings historical and social. On the um, history of human beings, Ricoeur expressed the concept of mimesis and Miki expressed the predicate of respond. All things in this world have the meaning as the created. They call our expressive activity as the expressive. By responding always this call, our expressive activity acquires the reality, thus the truth. Things surrounding us emanate to us various call in the verbal form or non-verbal form. Among these things, the most powerful call, um, most clear, um, is the verbal, particularly history. Um, it is true, as Mick says, history as logos belongs to the same order of history as being in the sense of historical fact. But history as logos, which makes um, express history as being uh, possible in the form of history, possesses the prominent position. This interpretation means that the position of history of Logos has a function as the mediation more than Miki's intention. Uh, Miki says that the history as being is locate, located in the middle between history as Tatsahe and history as Logos. Um, however, if history as Tatsahe is a creative process of history as Logos, and history as Logos and orders um, or expresses history as beings, it could be said that the middle of the order of three histories is history as logos. From this perspective, um, history as logos does not copy but represent the history as being, not Platonic sense but Aristotelian sense. This is a creative function of mimesis and the implicit aspect of the history as logos Miki did not, didn't explain in the philosophy of history. Then, why did Miki understand history as logos only as a copy of history as being, in spite of the fact that Miki was interested in the theory of art before writing the philosophy of history? This question is beyond the range of this presentation. However, at least, the fact Mickey challenge deltaites hermeneutics, that is, the position of understanding, is a powerful clue. Uh, for Mickey, what should be emphasized is not the position of understanding, but the position of act. Mickey stressed not a static position which write and understand text, but dynamic position of practice. However, if Miki encounters not 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 Delta's hermeneutics but Riku's hermeneutics, Miki's interpretation about history as logos could could be transformed. Then Miki's the philosophy of history could be progressed in a different way. Um, it is true that Miki's philosophy rem remains incomplete and fragmented because of Miki's death. However, in the fragment of his thought, 
we can recognize the outline of the system as a philosophy of act. Hence, through <coughs> examining Miki's the philosophy of history from the perspective of the group hermeneutics, it turns out to be possible to clarify the part of the transition of the history of the act Miki, tr Miki tries to delineate. The Lord of Mythos. Um, um, mm, so. You can also speak in German because he understands German, mm. actually. Ah, so, 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 まあ、ヒストリーの,その、まあ、物語っていう意味と歴史っていう意味という、うん、両方を加味していたのではないかという、まあ、一つの、まあまあ、推測を立てたっていうのがあってそうですね、まあ、ただ「This Presentation」はあのあのパトスの話に踏み込めてなくてそこがちょっとそうですね。Thank you for a very interesting paper.、Um, the reference you give in the work、um, says that、uh, in volume five of、uh, Miki's collected work is where he is focusing on Diltai.、Mm -hmm. Do you know which Diltai he was reading?、Mm -hmm. Which works from Diltai was Miki interested in? Ah.、Uh. The presentation of Diltai for me seems incomplete.、Mm -hmm. And so I'm curious to see what he was reading at the time. あー。
yeah, to, to create the situation or um, to imagine means to make the reality and so on. It sounds very uh, like Nishida, that's the point again. And uh, do you find, uh, or do you see a lot of, how do you say that? Mm. Mm. Quotes, or do you see that uh, Miki also uses directly Nishida's thoughts, or you don't see that so much from his text? I'm just wondering. Oh, um, okay. Actually, Miki um, referred to um, Nishida's m. Uh, yes, but but um, he wanted to posi position himself differently to this nothing. Um, mm, mm, yes. <laughs> Um, actually, um, I agree with you. Uh, actually, um, there is some difference between uh, Rikus and Miki. But um, uh, Rikus, um, in fact, um, renounced the Hegel or the um, memoir Isra Rupi. Um, he he um, renounced um, history itself. But um, I think um, Rikus um, do not. Um, um, the girl don't um, disagree with the possibility of objectivity of history. Um, so um, this is um, and, and, and um, um, additionally, um, um, because, um, um, when Riku explains the history of human um, mimesis. Um, he um, introduced the moment of reading, but um, in um, Philosophy of History by Mikis, um, there is um, a few um, the act of reading. So um, um, on the moment of reading, um, they, there are a difference between them. Mm. Of 
things that include uh, bottles and all types of aesthetic judgments and how people walk and food, or is culture for Miki um, morality, science, reflexive, rational structures? Because in Europe, the word culture, you know, at one place he distinguishes between um, societies with culture and societies without culture. And today, very few people would want to say there's a society without culture. But that's because at the beginning of the 20th century, coming out of the 19th century, the word culture really meant these self-reflexive, rational structures. And so I'm wondering if Miki has that same sense of German sort of sense of culture as a rational structure, as the neo-Kantians would have it, or is it a, a broader notion? Which maybe not a fair question, but I, mean, I, I don't know the answer. I'm just curious. It's a good question. So difficult. Um, so this, um, at, um, at, at least, um, so it's, um, um, this presentation, um, 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 <coughs> um, the, um, to, the moment common to Ikuyos and Miki uh, as the moment common uh, to Ikuyos and Miki and I, 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 I consider the act so and, but, um, but anyway <laughs> So sorry, I I can't. It's only, so it's not only something scientific, but also I don't know some kind of products in the art or art, mm. bottles and so on. That would be also uh, that could be also called culture mm. in the case of Nikki too. Do you think? Do you mean something like this? Uh, no, I don't know. ま、どういう風に言葉を使うのかっていうのもあると思うんですけど、あの、日記自身が文化、文化的っていう時にどういう意味なのかっていう難しい。そうそうそうですね。いや、あの、その色々考えは今考えたんですけど、ただ以前性
of religious terms as uses. In that regard, in your opinion, it's a matter of a form of life, it's a matter of something else. Um, outside of this uh, framework, outside of religion, what remains? Um, Background and so on, and the background and so on. 